Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday for us. So what does that mean, boys? Uh, what do we do on Wednesday mornings? Uh, Sleep over here. What? Go to the movies for one night. There we go. <laughs> We're going to the dollar movies to see Rio, too. And we got to pick up Cooper first because he's going to hang out with us for the day. So we're done watching Rio too. What'd you guys think? Do you like it? Yeah. No. No. It made me cry. <laughs> no, it didn't. Now we're defrosting because it is freezing inside the movie theater, and we usually bring a blanket, and I forgot it. So I'm trying to take these boys swimming, but I guess they don't want to go. Yeah, I want to. Well, I no one has their swimsuit on. I don't want to. Okay, you stay home by yourself, dude. No, okay. I can't. I don't, I don't know. Uh -oh. Do you guys remember a couple of vlogs ago we were at Michael's trying to find a boob cake pan so that I can make that pregnancy belly cake for a baby shower this week? Well, my friend Penny was watching that vlog and she sent me a text out of the middle of nowhere saying, hey, I have a boob cake pan. I was like, oh yeah, you do? Send me a picture of it because I want to see it. I just assumed it was just like a round mold. I didn't think it was literally a boob cake pan, but it is. See, it's a little dirty because I used it to make the cakes but it's exactly what it's for is to make boobs <laughs> i did not know they made such a thing she bought it a long time ago when her and her husband were dating so that she could make him a boob birthday cake so now it's mine just that i can keep it just in case i have any more pregnancy belly cakes to make which i'm sure i'm going to so now i can take back the other one this one it was supposed to be for dolls because I didn't like the shape of it anyways. Finally got these boys off their video games so we can go swimming. You guys would stay on video games all day if I let you, wouldn't you? No. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you would. Why are you sitting in the front seat? It's only a 30 second drive. The boys are playing tag. We got Xander, Carson, Jacob, Cooper, and Colin. Feels like Jacob's birthday party all over again. We're just missing one kid. Jacob! Jacob! What are you doing, Jacob? A dive. Try diving straight down. Jacob, drop your glass. Don't jump on somebody. Are you ready? Okay. Sander, when you drop, when you hit the You better hurry. <laughs> you made it. Good job, dude. Did that hurt? <laughs> it's dinner time. Okay, where's Daddy at? Why isn't he joining us for dinner? Hey, can't you read, Xander? <laughs> it says entrance this way. <laughs> Can you not read, fourth grader? So yeah, Eric had to work late tonight, but we're going to Smash Burger because they have gluten-free buns now and they're so yummy. We had them when we were in California. There's my gluten-free bun. Oh. Yummy. How did you come to Smash Burger and not get a hamburger, dude? You got a hot dog. Seriously? <laughs> this is a burger place. Is it good? Always. Oh, bunch of ketchup and mustard. Is your mouth big enough? <laughs> so I just dropped Jacob and Xander off at Hannah's house once again so that they can actually have their sleepover tonight like they were supposed to do last night. So which means I'm on my way to get my tattoo. Yay! I'm excited but I'm also nervous for several reasons. For one, because I'm getting a tattoo. <laughs> For two, Eric's not with me to start the whole process. He'll be there later, but he had to work late, like I said earlier. For three, last night when I thought I was getting one, um, I had a margarita with dinner. And I wasn't able to do that tonight because, you know, I was driving and I had the kids with me, of course. But also, when we, me and my uh, tattoo artist were talking about the tattoo last night, and he was drawing it up. He said that it was going to take four hours to complete and I was thinking it was going to take more like two hours. So for all of those reasons, I'm a nervous wreck, but that's okay. I got this. I can handle it. I'm just going to have to put my big girl panties on and do it, right? I don't have any other choice. <laughs> 
I still probably got about, I don't know, another hour on outline. <laughs> now, this is just the first coat. <laughs> I don't know what you did to piss your husband off. He sent me some money yesterday before he left. I guess I'm more good. Make it stick. Yeah, make sure it stays. So I, I, I'm the same way. I don't hit my wife. I don't, I don't do it. <laughs> but I'm tired of it. Nope, not close. Alright, so Amy's at the halfway mark, huh? Let's see how she's doing. How are you doing, Amy? Right? What's your favorite part so far? The needles or the needles? Um, nothing. <laughs> what, you don't like it? It looks great, though. No, it looks fantastic, but the pain is awful. Should I show them what it's looking like so far? No. Oh, they've already seen it as it's working. It's at the halfway mark, so there's still more work to go. You want to see it? There's how it's looking. Okay. So we still got two more hours. Two I was more hours? He was joking. Why'd you get? Why'd you get that name on there? That creeper. Some crazy guy that I'm with. Some tattoo artists tattoo fade because they didn't put the clear coat on it. Right. All in one day. Fine too. Looks pretty amazing. All right. You have a new tattoo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the best words ever. Done by the amazing Mr. Dave Bozeman. <gasps> All right, so you saw the last little clip there of Amy at the tattoo shop, and little did she know she was actually almost done. Okay, he he he's told her that he, she still had a while. He was gonna put the clear coat on it, just joking around with her and everything. And I said there was two hours. Well, he was pretty much done right there. So she finished up, she paid up, and now she has this awesome piece of artwork that we're gonna show you. Don't you like it? Boom! That is a those man. That tape looks real. I know, right? Because it is real. <laughs> you guys can see it tomorrow. But yeah, like we, I had to ask for a break at one point because it was just hurting so bad. And he's like, "Yeah, we still have two more hours." And I thought he was being for real, but it was what like <laughs> yeah, it was about minutes. you had about forty because I came home and edited the, the little bit of footage that you saw before. Yeah. So I knew there wasn't a clear coat at that point. I knew he was messing with me, but <laughs> when he told me I was done, like it was like the best words I've heard all night. You were like, "Really?" Like, Your eyes brightened up. You had a <laughs> I was smile. So happy. <laughs> That was, that was painful. No, nah, he's a good artist though. No, he's very, he's awesome. So whoever out there is in the Houston, Houston area, area or whatever, go David see. David Bozeman. Mm, yeah, yeah David locally Bozeman. famous. Yeah. Right here on the edge of the woodlands in the spring, basically. Right. He even uh, tattooed Bunny from YouTube. Yeah, Graveyard Girl. Yeah. Yep, he's friends with her actually. He like, grew up he around her. Yep. Yeah, I guess they had mutual friends. Yeah, he didn't even realize that she was some big internet superstar. Right, until after he tattooed her. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So, uh, Bunny, if you ever watch this video, he didn't even know you were famous. Which, are we really famous when you're on YouTube? I, I don't think we're really famous, although some teenagers probably think we are. And we still have not gotten to 150 likes, guys. What's going on here? What do we have to do to get those likes again? What happened? I mean, you guys were doing amazing, and it was like, it was... You're flashing me, what? Amy's over here saying, flashing. no, no. She was flashing me, she pulled her shirt down, she flashed me. I'm just kidding, no, the, the battery's flashing. So we're gonna call it a night, get it to 150 likes so we can do a dare and uh, leave some comments and be sure and subscribe too. See you guys tomorrow.